BBC News. Ukrainian officials say the city of Severodonetsk has now been fully taken by Russian forces. It follows the withdrawal of Ukrainian troops from the industrial zone in the city. The regional governor, Sergei Haidai, said residents could now leave only in the direction of Russia. President Putin has said Moscow will supply Belarus with Iskander M missile systems. At a meeting with the Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko in Moscow, Mr Putin said the short-range mobile ballistic systems would be handed over in the coming months. President Biden has set off for the G7 summit of leading industrial nations, at which Ukraine will be the main item for discussion. 18,000 police are being deployed around the venue near the German city of Munich. Mr Biden has again criticised the Supreme Court for ending the constitutional right to abortion. He said his administration would closely monitor states' implementation of abortion bans. Norwegian police say they're treating last night's deadly attack on a series of Oslo bars and nightclubs, including a popular gay one, as Islamist terrorism. Gabon and Togo have been admitted as new members of the Commonwealth at the organisation's Heads of Government Summit in Rwanda. The Rwandan president said the expansion reflected the Commonwealth's diversity. Iran's top security official has said that Tehran will continue developing its nuclear programme until the West changes what he called its illegal behaviour. Ali Shamkhani was speaking at a meeting with the EU's foreign policy chief, Josep Borrell, who's been visiting Iran. An indigenous leader in Peru has criticised the government's decision to declare a 60-day state of emergency on their lands without consulting them. Peruvian officials said the measure was aimed at protecting the Amazon region. BBC News.